Hi guys. So um, in the last part of this uh, little short mini series, we did a more of a traditional eyeball. This is my friend Carla's eyeball. And um, you saw me do that step by step. I didn't cut anything out, not even the boo-boos. So this time we're gonna do, I'm gonna take my little dashboard off because um, I don't think we need it. Um, and we're gonna be wanting to flip back and forth. So we're gonna do a more doodly eyeball, like these kind of the same inspiration photo, the same eyeball, but we're gonna take liberties with it and do some crazy doodling on it and lines and mark making. I have no plan. I have no idea where I'm gonna go with it. Not a single clue, but let's give it a shot and let's see what happens. I'm gonna hold this page open and I'm not gonna put the dashboard back, so I'm gonna pray and hope that I don't get too messy with this. I'm gonna turn the page. And the first thing we're gonna do, just like with the other one, is we are going to do a pencil sketch. Um, and again, just like with the other one, if, it's, um, if you're more comfortable with it, then print it to the size of the page and then use graphite or carbon paper to trace the basic shape on for you. So I'm gonna sketch out the shape of her eye. It's pretty rounded on the top. Light pencil strokes. And then I'm gonna draw in the iris. And then mark off the fleshy tear duct areas. The pupil. The hooded part of her eyelid. The crease. And I'll sketch in a little bit of her brow. Okay. So just like before, we're going to color it in the colors that I see, but we're gonna to try to keep it less realistic. I'm gonna just go hog wild and crazy with it. So we're gonna start with the flat brush and we'll start out with something, you know, semi-realistic that's fleshy. I'm gonna use what's on the palette. Her skin tone, while it has some brown in it, has a lot of pink in it and a purpley colors in it. So I'm gonna grab those colors and put those in. And then grab some water. The painting's not part of it is not too dissimilar to what we've already done. It's very similar to what we already did. Um, the difference is that you're not trying so hard to match the colors of your inspiration photo. Which we kind of were trying to sort of do in the last one. I mean, I'm not... I, I never limit myself to sticking to it too much, um, but that being said, we were trying. Okay, that was way too much yellow. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, you kind of can. That was way too much. Let's see. Let's grab some red. And a teeny bit of blue. More red. Let's grab some of the opera pink this time. Yep, that did it. So remember, you know, when you're painting with watercolors, I've said it a million times, I'll say it again. When you're painting with watercolors, start light. Add more water to your paints so that they're a light tone. Add water to them when they get down on the paper so that nothing is too dark. Okay, I'm gonna add some more pink. 
because now we're going to just kind of like go crazy here and I'm going to she's got these like pinky purple tones in her eye uh, and was, I should say in the skin around her eye Okay, we're going to let that sit for a minute. I'm going to switch to a round brush and let's go into her um, iris. And I'm going to grab, I said before when we did it last time, she's got this, in the picture, she's got this bluish gray turquoisey green color that's that's in the photo. I don't think that's in her eye in real life. I could be wrong, um, but it's in the photo. So we are going to go with that and I'm not going to try to neutralize it at all like I did in the last photo. And we are going to just go crazy. So this is the color that I see around the edges of her eye. And then what I like to do is take that same color, whatever the kind of fun dominant color or colors are, Remember she had this shadow over here. Probably the indent on the side of her nose. And I see some purple. I, I keep telling you all that and I see some purple. So I've got this really pretty purple on my palette. I'm going to mix it with some of the fleshy tones that we used just to take away some of the, a little bit of the brightness, not too much. magic eraser turning out really good that's going where I want it to <laughs> art in an art direction the right art direction I should say okay I'm gonna add a little bit of this purple to her iris I just think it's an interesting color I don't think again that it's really in her eye, but I definitely see it in the tones of her skin around her eye in the photo. I will go and add a little bit of a touch of brown, but I'm going to mix it with some of the purple. So remember, we're going to doodle on this, so it's not about painting necessarily in all the details because the ones that you don't get in, in the painting, we're going to be doodling in. black. 
I need to dry that a little bit. some more black. More drying. I need a dark piece of paper. All right, here we go. Because, yeah, that's what I thought. I think this one's... It's either dead or been sitting too long, so hang on. Okay, I'm gonna use a Sharpie stainless steel pen. I've got a black Molotow paint pen and a uh, white Uniball Signo um, gel pen. These are the three pens I like to do the doodling with. It, that, that other Uniball Signo was like, it was dead. Um, all right, so. I'm gonna take this clip off so I can sort of flip back and see what I've done on other eyeballs. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it with a Sharpie pen. And, oops. Move things out of my way. There we go. Ah, that's better. All right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna And I'm gonna just start doodling. Sometimes I'm not exactly sure what shapes I want to put on there. So I will refer back to some of the ones I've done before. I usually mark them out with the Sharpie stainless steel pen. And then I decide if they need to be solid black or solid white um, afterwards. And then I use the paint pen and or the gel pen for that.
Yes, you kind of want your doodles to be suggestive of the fact that this is an eyeball. You don't want to totally lose sight of that. At the same time, just have some fun with it because that's what it's about. If you want inspiration for doing doodly eyes and or doodly faces, there's a fabulous artist whose name is Deb Weirs. She has a book out of her artwork and I will link it in the description below. She's a wonderful source of inspiration for this kind of um, abstracted doodly face stuff. <laughs> Don't forget to turn your work around and just, you know, get a different perspective on it too. That's like a thing. I should really have my reading glasses on for this, but I don't have them on. That's probably a mistake. I like that. I like where that's going. So then the only other thing is, do I want to add more doodles to it before I do the squiggly lines? And I think I want to, I do think I want to add more, let's see. Okay, so then Deb Weirs always does these squiggly things around the eye and the face. She does it on her faces too. And I kind of like the way they look. I usually do it in black and then in white, both. On Carla's, I'm just trying to decide, do I want to do it in the Sharpie pen or the Molotel marker or do I want to grab something else? I am upstairs. I want it darker, I think, than this one, but not quite as thick as this one. So let's see if I have a black, I think I have a black Uniball Signo, so hang on. I didn't, I couldn't find the Uniball Signo that I wanted. Well, I did find one, but the nib was too small, but I do, I have these orthographic liners. This is a number 10. I get these from Jet Pens. I do really like these markers, um, or pens. 
I'm going to use this. Now, you want to make sure this is like after you're done with the watercolor. This is water soluble, so it's not waterproof. Um, and so I'm going to probably, you're, most of you are going to go, what are you doing? <laughs> it's okay. Trust me. So I'm going to just... And then I'm going to take the white gel pen. Actually, I'm upstairs, aren't I? <laughs> I keep saying that, but I am upstairs. I have a white paint pen somewhere. <gasps> oh, I have these. <laughs> okay, the things I don't have downstairs when I do these, I do have upstairs. This is a whiteout pen. I like the way that looks. So that is another doodly eyeball. Let's dry it. Sometimes you'll notice that you haven't shaken your pen up enough. It's all right, just do it again. It's particularly true with the white pens. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I, I, you know, I always forget about the joys of working with a white gel pen. I mean, I'm sorry, a whiteout pen. They're fun to work with. They're nice and bright and white, but, 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 they clog a lot. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. And the only problem with doing these doodly eyeballs is it's hard for me to know when to stop. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> so there you have it, a doodle eyeball. So see what you can do and just have a play and have a good time and do something fun. I love this one of my uh, son-in-law, almost, almost son-in-law, uh, Polly's eye. Um, and just get wild and extreme with it and, you know, get crazy with it. And at the end, just scribble on top of it because, you know, who cares? Just have fun and play. Um, if you would, I would appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos when they come out. Um, don't forget to support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook uh, by clicking on my Linktree link. In it, you'll find my Amazon affiliate store, Patreon, my Etsy shop, where to buy my book, along with places to just follow me on social media if that's all you want to do. They're all in the Linktree link. My happy mail address is in the description below too if you would like to send me to happy mail. I like getting happy mail just like everybody else. Um, that's it for today. I hope that you found this interesting and I can't wait to see what you all do with it. Please share in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. Uh, again, that link is below. 
And um, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.